Uh, we have a family of peregrines. They've been nesting here on the tower for the last five years. We have two adults and we have, unusually, uh, one of the female juveniles from last year. So we have one of last year's chicks that's still hanging around. That's quite unusual. Normally at the end of the breeding season, uh, the parents uh, uh, take them outside of, the, of, that, of their nesting zone and they set up their own area. This year one has come back. Uh, the chicks from this year, we, ha we have one chick so far, is about two weeks, two weeks old. They'll be on the nest now for another six weeks and then the adults will be teaching them how to fly and how to hunt, which is going to be really spectacular. It's, it's the fastest bird you'll ever see. The female peregrine weighs a kilogram, about the same as a, a bag of sugar. And in diving or stooping, uh, they put their wings back and they dive on their prey in flight. So if you can imagine a bag of sugar hitting you on the back of the neck at 200 miles an hour, that'll give you some kind of idea of the killing power of, of, of a female peregrine. The, the male is a third smaller again. Um, he's not quite as powerful and he'll take smaller birds. Uh, their favourite prey is feral pigeon. The RSPB is, is here to engage with people and to allow them to engage with nature. We call it a date with nature site. So basically, um, instead of it being an abstract, oh, aren't they beautiful birds? They're somewhere and we're protecting them. We can actually say they're here, we're protecting them, this is why we're protecting them, and this is why we have to protect all wildlife. We're no longer just birds, we're all about biodiversity and how we can keep biodiversity to help both nature and ourselves. The, the, the public interest is fantastic. We've got a mixture of people who know about the peregrines and they come along and the first thing they say is, how are they? How are they doing? So they become old friends, which is exactly what we want. We want people to really engage with nature and feel part of it. Um, people who don't know they're there, we get that wow response. We even had one child who was about seven crying because he wanted to join the RSPB. I mean, you can't get better than that. You know, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. If he takes that interest on then into adulthood and spreads it to his children, then our, our work is done. You know, we are, we are trying to make sure that we, we provide a future for wildlife and for humans. Thank you.